Hi guys, uh, welcome to From the Shore. Um, I am introducing this for uh, Tina and Baz, uh, or Bina, as I like to call them, as one solid entity, or possibly Taz, a uh, Tasmanian devil whirling and dervishing around the country for your entertainment needs. Let's have a little look through their, a little voyeuristic look through their bedroom window <laughs> to see what they've been up to.
too sure but I think that man I've just passed had no clothes on and he just had a little flannel covering his bits I hope I'm wrong As you can see, we've seen more dogs in this heat, which is absolutely stupid. Let's have a look at the gorgeous view. It's a shame no one's out pedal, uh, paddle boarding. We're just running like a little kayak style thing over there. Okay, so I think we'll have a little walk up to St. Patrick's Chapel.
So we're coming up to St Patrick's Chapel. And a little tip for you. <clears throat> Right, a little tip for you, if you want a picture of the church, this is a good spot. You climb on this little wall and you take it from there and it comes out really well. bit down there it's like a little private beach it's really cute so if like you and your friends go down so you've got a little beach all to yourself a few people out and about And those are the famous coffins and they are famous for being on the album cover of Black Sabbath's album. I've said it many a time before but hey ho. If you go over that way, that takes Half Moon Bay, but I'm not because it's so hot. I'm just going to go and get back. So we'll go back via the village.
too many dogs out today, too many. I'd like to wrap these people in a little fur coat and make them come out in a temperature like this. Might have a quick walk around the graveyard. So when they redid the roof for the church, people could buy a slate and your name's put on the slate. And my family have got all our names on them slates. Not on all the slates, obviously. We've all got a slate. So at the minute, my mum's picking certain gravestones and she's doing the history on the person and she's found out that there's a grave over there of I think it was a priest I could be totally wrong but anyway she's got a grave over there and the grave next to him is actually his sister and she found out if they're wealthy what happened to him she's done quite a few and there's one over there one over there I'm pointing and you can't even see one over there and it's um of someone called um this heat effect on my head it's someone in the grave and they named a road after a road near where we live and there's a lot of the roads around here that are named after vicars that were once at this church so it's pretty interesting and there's some over there and there's it's two girls and they drowned out in the bay one was only about 18 and the other one i think was even younger and on it it says drowned in the bay with a view of the home so that is really sad and then there's a grave over there that way and it said that this person was pretty much rubbish at everything so that's quite a funny one i think gravestone should be funny Death should not be a serious thing. If you make it a serious thing, it becomes morbid and sad. It's a beautiful view from here. We have family buried in this churchyard. It's actually quite busy down that way, so I won't go down that way. But yeah, down there is that way are the plates, and people have had their ashes put down there. And then one night, two skanks decided to steal all the plaques off the wall to weigh them in, but they got caught in the act, so they left without the plates. But the plates have been put back up, but no one knows which order they went in. Keep going. This is Glebe Garden and it's ace. We love it in here. I'll just walk around it really quick. But if you can see, people leave all different things in there. Right, there's that little thing. There's a little seal there. It's there. There's just all, everywhere you look, there's something. So it is an awesome place. Some 
And there's that there. People are slowly adding to this one, which I absolutely love. What's that? This is a new one by the looks of it. there and I don't know if you can see right over there I put a worm in the wall from Labyrinth and he's still there no one's nicked him which is good well, actually let's have a look some old skank we put a Dalek there so obviously some little thief has taken it There's some houses and oh, the princess. There's Olaf. You can see my shadow of my big melon. And if you walk down this way, you can see some bits in there. So, I think I'll just get back now because I'm really hot. And then that tree there, that fell down last year, took that wall out. And we managed, well, the vicar let us have part of the trunk because they cut into slices. So we actually have a bird table in the garden made out of that trunk. That's a cute little garden. They always look after that so well. So that we've walked down was Main Street. This is Haitian Village, which takes you up to Barrow Lane and up to the school. There used to be loads of shops here, and over the years, they've all just closed.
so I shall leave you there and hope you like this little walk around Fusion. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more. We have got something coming up for July the 4th, all being well. And yeah, just stay safe everyone, look after each other. It's nice to be kind, so please be kind. And we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.